Hey, this is actually something that I've been, an epiphany just dawned on me actually. You know, for some reason now, even though I don't like what my exes might have done to me in the past, it, I take it as a blessing in disguise now because like, God or Jesus or whatever religion, I mean I'm not a religious person, but whatever higher power there is out there, he or she is saving someone who is much better for me. We don't know when it's going to happen. It could be next year, this year, 2025, or we don't know, you know. But God or whatever higher being out there is saving a special lady for me who's worth it all in the end. Somewhere down the line. Sorry, I have to pick up my boogers. <laughs> but, you know, it and it's going to be it's going to happen before I least expect it like some friends would say you know of course I still hate what my exes did to me surprisingly I've forgiven them even those two bitches you know I've forgiven them but like the reason why I don't I mean of course I hate what they did I every time it gets brought up I get really like sour taste in my mouth you know but I take it as a blessing in disguise now because it's my hair because God is saying, there's going to be someone who is 30 times better than my exes were, you know. And it's going to be worth it all in the end before it's all said and done, you know. And I'm really happy how my life is turning out so far. Did you also notice that 2015 was the year I started becoming the real Patrick Lou? I mean, it's it started happening somewhere down the line. Some signs of it were showing in 2011. 2012 was a little bit of a moderate kind of pace, but 2013 it went back down for whatever reason it is. I don't want to look back on it. Damn, when I broke up with you-know-who, that it's, my life started to really pick up again. While 2015 was a really bad year for me, it was a really good year for me because that's why I finally decided and came to an epiphany that this music thing is what I'm born to do, whether people like it or not, and... I gotta keep at it, you know, this is my dream, you know, this is my passion, I gotta keep on doing it, like, like that song from the Muppet Babies, you watched this one episode where Gonzo's trying to find his chocolate chip cookies, trucking, railroad trucking, I don't like trucking with you, you know, and it's like, I'm really happy how like my life is turning so far, of course I get stressed out financially, I overthink sometimes, and I've express how I really feel, whether it's good or bad, you know, but exes, I'm going to mention now, are, of course I hate what they did, here and there to get brought up here and there, it's just like, you know, I forgive them, I just can't forget, you know, but it's a blessing in disguise because there's going to be a, a better woman out there who's like 30 times better than those bitches, you know, like, I'm going to pull Dr. Wong real quick, actually, about how I really feel about that, I'd be like, I got my bitches, 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 holes, 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 Hong Kong. But you know, there's gonna be. I think the breakups with my ex is like a blessing in disguise because it's it's like because God is saving someone who's much better for me. She might not be the prettiest girl in the world. It doesn't matter what race she is. She might not be curvy. She might be not be thin. You know, but she's gonna be worth it all in the end, really. You know. That's why, because God knows what would have happened if I stayed with those two exes, Faith and Monique, actually. Had I stayed with them, you know, it would have been not been a fun situation for either one of us, so that's why it was for the best, you know. Of course, I still hate what they did, though, you know what I mean, but but that's just what I'm going to talk about for today. Have you, have you noticed my hair is getting a little longer, though, but... I'm just really happy with how things are going so far. And I'm in my hotel just balling.